Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday the 9th of April 2024. This morning's devotional is a reading from Jonah chapter 2 verse 1 and it reads, From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. Have you ever felt swallowed up by life? Maybe you've been surrounded by depression, conflict, worry or guilt and you felt helpless? Well, I'm hoping that you're not feeling that way right now. But there will come a time in life when you will be. You may lose a loved one, your job or your health. And when you're faced with a hopeless situation, we need to think about what Jonah did. Prayer in any situation, despite what many may think, is not a waste of time. We tend to underestimate the power of prayer in life. And I can personally testify to the power of prayer and cannot overemphasize it enough. You can pray for people without them even knowing about it. And sometimes it's a good thing because maybe the person that you're praying for may be too shy or embarrassed to come to you to ask you to pray for them. After Jonah had run from God's mission for his life, he got swallowed up by that big fish after he got tossed off the boat. As he sat in that fish, sinking down to the bottom of the ocean, Jonah looked up to God. In fact, the, sec the entire second chapter of Jonah is a record of Jonah praying as he sinks down. And it's a lesson for all of us that when we are feeling overwhelmed and when we're sinking, we need to look up to God in prayer. For the, from, from the very first verse of the chapter, you can see Jonah turning to God. One thing we need to understand is that some problems in life won't go away unless we learn to look to God in prayer. They are so deep-rooted that they cannot and will not go away. In Mark chapter 9, we find the example of some of Jesus' disciples who were trying to drive out a demon out of someone, and they couldn't. And they went to Jesus and they asked him why, and Jesus turned around and said to them in Mark chapter 9 verse 29, this kind can only come out by prayer. As I mentioned, some problems are so deeply rooted that only persistent prayer can get rid of them. It's not about a one-time prayer. If you care enough about something to pray about it once, then it is not that important to you. If you truly want to see something happen in your life, you will pray about it over and over and over again. My dear friends, God wants to see whether you care enough about something to keep on praying for it until he answers. He is more interested in building your faith than he is in immediately answering every little prayer. So if you're feeling hopeless today, look up to God and keep praying. But know this, never, ever, ever give up. In fact, Scripture admonishes us to pray continually, to pray at all times. One cannot say enough about prayer, but we need to pray more. That I can tell you. If the more we pray, the more results we will see and God working in our lives. God will answer your prayers. So may the Lord be with you. May He bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.